Today we're doing a top speed test for the Team G H6 and also the Walgo 2S. We haven't used any battery yet. We pushed here. So let's do that now. Got to put on that helmet. Today I'm 75 kilograms with everything I'm wearing and the weather is 23 degrees Celsius. I'm going to use two different apps to measure the speed. One is going to be RunKeeper and, and the other one is an app I haven't tried yet. It's called Ride. Okay, so I got both apps running now. I just tightened the trucks. Here we go. Feels pretty okay. This one is not super fast. The, uh, I forgot what the top speed is supposed to be, but I remember it's not that high. Okay, I'm gonna test the brakes now. Oh! Brakes are pretty strong. Brakes are quite strong. Okay, now I'm gonna go back in the same direction. Okay. We're in full throttle. There's a DJI Spark up there. Okay, let's do a full break again. Oh my god! Oh jeez. The brake is really strong. Okay. Alright, 27.4 kilometers per hour according to the ride app. Let's look at the RunKeeper app now. Okay, I can't really tell from the... Okay, from, from the Run, RunKeeper app, RunKeeper app is telling me 36. 36 kilometers per hour. I don't know why these two numbers are so different. This RunKeeper number is probably not accurate. I'm gonna put both of these numbers on the screen. The lower one is probably more accurate, but there you go, you have both numbers. Actually, let me see if the distances are at least the same. Uh, okay, so according to the ride app, I went 0.3 kilometers. And according to RunKeeper, I went 0.3 kilometers. Okay, so that's consistent. So the range, the range should be accurate. Anyway, we're gonna do the range test now. Johan is now going to ride the Walgo and I'm going to ride the Team G board. We've gone about 5 kilometers so far. Hello. Okay, I'm going to try to break. Oh, jeez. This brake is so strong. We've gone 8 kilometers so far. And let's check the batteries again. Okay, on the Team G, I'm still at two lights. Like I said in the previous video, there's actually a different remote for the Team G H6. On this remote, there's a little display, and you can see that there are actually two battery indicators. On the top left is the battery indicator for the remote. On the top right is the battery indicator for the board. Unfortunately, this display is quite difficult to see in bright daylight. I find this remote to be quite comfortable to hold. Look at the way that my thumb is placed on the remote. With this remote, the thumb is placed very close to its resting position. I kind of like that.
ground, will be 11.3 kilometers. The Team G is already experiencing noticeable voltage sag. And, and I heard it beeping earlier, so it's probably going to run out of power relatively soon. And back on the Team G board. Oh, it's very low on power. Um, it's giving me four beeps, but only when I'm accelerating. Well, let's see how far it goes. I think this is just about out of power. Yeah, it's out of power. Okay, um, I'm gonna check the numbers. So when it's out of power, it doesn't let you accelerate, but it does let you brake. Eleven point eight kilometers. So eleven point eight plus. What was the original number? P point three. Yeah. So it's about twelve kilometers. Okay. I just want to point out real quick that it's pretty easy to carry this board. I'm gonna ride the Wildgo board home, and I'm gonna carry the team the Team G board in one hand and use the remote on the other hand. The Team G board is light enough that I'm able to do that. <laughs> 